Artificial intelligence is advancing and altering how humans perceive the world. We can now use these cutting-edge intelligent computer systems to help us with everything, from making straightforward calculations to producing visually appealing content. To compete with ChatGPT, Google is releasing the Bard Chatbot AI Power. Now the question must be how are the two AI software different, and which one can you trust? So, without further ado, let's get started. Users worldwide have been creative with the conversational chatbots prompts to create everything from poems and books to jokes and film scripts since Microsoft-backed OpenAI's ChatGPT became widely available last year. ChatGPT is the most well-known illustration. They use the internet as an enormous knowledge base, but there are concerns that it might also have offensive material and false information. To compete with ChatGPT, Google is releasing the Bard chatbot, AI Power. ChatGPT educated a huge language model, a sort of artificial intelligence, using a sizable amount of online data. Such a model uses a transformer, an AI tool developed by Google. Even if its results can be deceptive or incorrect, ChatGPT's success across various activities, from developing software and passing tests to providing guidance on removing a sandwich from a VCR, has catapulted it into the spotlight. Artificial intelligence already exists around us, helping with activities like text message translation and credit card fraud detection. Using information from the internet in 2021, ChatGPT may provide text-based answers to inquiries and fulfill requests. It can create academic papers, news articles, songs, speeches, and promotional materials. Users can currently use it for free, even though the corporation pays a few pence each time someone uses it. OpenAI just revealed a premium tier in addition to the free tier. Microsoft claims to be organizing a presentation on Tuesday to share progress on a few fascinating initiatives, one of which is believed to be a chatbot-enhanced Bing. San Alban, the CEO of OpenAI, tweeted a photo of himself standing next to Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, on Monday with the caption, excited for the event tomorrow. In apparent contrast to rival programs like ChatGPT that can vomit made-up material to answer some user questions, Google officials have also claimed that they need to be faster and more careful with their products. According to Google officials, they must evaluate new tools to ensure no prejudice and prevent misuse. These concerns are also held by many academics. The language model for dialogue applications-based Bard AI, which is still in development, combines the strength of global knowledge with the conversational abilities of Google's experimental conversational AI services, Lambda. According to Google, the Lambda or language model for dialogue applications, artificial intelligence technology is the foundation for its Bard service. Last year, Google fired an employee for claiming that Lambda had developed sentience. This claim was roundly debunked by experts in the area. Bard gathers information from the internet and disseminates it with the force, originality, and wisdom of a human-like discourse. Bard can serve as a writer's research tool and creative outlet for a nine-year-old who needs knowledge from various sources. It has the potential to transform everything from search to education to work. Microsoft will likely discuss its integration of OpenAI's ChatGPT into its Bing search engine at an event on Tuesday. A Google spokesman stated that the goal at this time is not to profit from Bard. Information about adverts or other future revenue streams for Bard was concealed by the company. What makes Bard different from ChatGPT? For the language model, Bard will operate on Lambda, while ChatGPT operates on GPT-3. The source of information in the case of Bard is the internet, whereas in the case of ChatGPT, it's a data feed. Bard has limited access as of now, while ChatGPT has unlimited access. Google's Bard and ChatGPT would both offer comparable services. The successful search engines Bing and Google Search will be strengthened by integrating AI technology by Microsoft and Google. While ChatGPT has access to data through 2021, Bard uses internet data. Lambda, or language model for dialogue applications, serves as the framework for Bard. A business developer claimed last year that the AI was sentient, since it was adept at producing writing. This claim was mainly denied by the technology company and scientists. ChatGPT became a viral hit after OpenAI published it late last year. The breadth of its capabilities opened up the promise of so-called generative AI, or AI that can create material in response to brief user inputs, to a broader population of potential users even though it was built using AI technologies that were widely available to researchers. People shared the chatbots amusing responses to their questions, 
such as a retelling of the fairy story of Goldilocks in the form of a police blotter, as well as the intricate computer software coding that it could deliver when asked. On Monday, Google provided very little information regarding Bard's functionality and the kinds of answers it will provide. The business claimed that Bard will first utilize a smaller model of Lambda that requires less processing power, allowing the business to make it more readily accessible. In his post on Monday, Mr. Pichai also provided a sneak peek at some new AI capabilities that the company's name brand search engine would soon be incorporating. According to him, the functions are designed to distill complex material and different perspectives into easy-to-consume formats. The generative language capabilities of Lambda will be made available to third-party developers starting the next month through a new application programming interface that enables them to query Lambda as part of their own tools. According to Mr. Pichai, the business claims that it will eventually produce a set of tools. This news is similar to Microsoft's announcement from last month that it will start allowing third parties to use ChatGPT and other AI tools in their own API-based applications. The Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 3.5 family of language models, which OpenAI released in early 2022 after finishing training, serves as the foundation of ChatGPT. Access to the most recent research will give BARD the knowledge necessary to collect data in real time. Is BARD better? Since the announcement, the most critical question circulating online has reached us. We are now prepared to provide an answer that will allow you to determine whether the current BARD is superior to the current ChatGPT. BARD AI searches real-time data across the web and provides accurate results, unlike the pre-trained AI model in ChatGPT. BARD, which is based on Lambda, claims to have the ability to express emotions and feelings through content, which may or may not be true given that sentiment analyzers and tools like Grammarly are getting better at identifying the emotional tone of the content they are analyzing. Although BARD is currently in its early testing stages as a developer, BARD AI will fundamentally alter how people browse the internet. Everyone will now have access to the globe at their fingertips, including those unfamiliar with the idea of research. Since ChatGPT's release a few months ago, there has been a lot of discussion on how AI authors will eliminate the need for content creators. Others hug the AI writer to help them with content research and create content on a large scale, while some feared losing their employment. Regardless of the technology you choose or the future of the conflict between BARD and GPT, merging AI authors with search engines will fundamentally alter how we find information online. Plagiarism is a significant source of debate when using chatbot AI like ChatGPT or Google Bard. The chatbot's AI language models need a ton of content produced by third parties to be fed to them to be trained on existing knowledge sets. If correctly requested, it can disclose sources, although that isn't the default. Therefore, you must use the chatbot with extreme caution to avoid stealing intellectual property. Like ChatGPT, Bard aims to convey complicated ideas, like new findings from space, in a manner that even young children can comprehend. Less than two weeks before the announcement of Bard's creation, Microsoft revealed it was investing billions of dollars in OpenMI, a startup in which it already held a $1 billion share. According to several commentators, AI technology will undergo the same transformations that smartphones, the internet, and personal computers have seen over the past 40 years. To help its billions of users with increasingly complex questions, Google also intends to put Lambda and other AI developments into its powerful search engine. Interestingly, Google fired Blake Lemoyne after he asserted that its language model for dialogue applications dialogue technology can act naturally. If you found this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more exciting and insightful videos.